Hivers, welcome back everybody to another episode of Mila's Little Monday where I tell you what has made my life a little bit brighter this week. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. The first thing on my list is that I bought my parents an Amazon Fire TV stick. So the thing is, we have one of the oldest 3D smart TVs that were ever on the market. It was the highest, newest tech thing when we bought it and it's great. Uh, the 3D effect is amazing, it has big screen, it's lovely, but the smart TV function sucks. It really does. It's horrible. <laughs> it's an old LG television and it has no access to the newest apps. Uh, it only has Netflix for streaming and Amazon Prime. So no chance of getting Disney Plus to work on this. And this is quite important to me and my mother, so... My mom currently had to always put her laptop on and connect it to the TV and then do it that way and it's always been a huge act. So since she wanted to pay for the membership I said you know what I'm buying an Amazon Fire TV stick and she loves it and she was so happy. My dad is super happy because he thinks that thing is just the funniest little gadget to him. Like He loves new technology even though he has no idea how everything works. So they're both super happy and I just feel glad that they're glad and yeah, doing something nice for the people you love makes you feel really really good so you know you should try that sometimes. <laughs> Number two on my list is, yeah well I talked about Disney Plus earlier but I'm just loving it right now. I've started rewatching all the Star Wars movies again, okay I have to say I'm not rewatching all of them because I've never seen all of them. I couldn't get into it the first time I tried watching them, but right now I'm loving them. We started with Rogue One and then episode 4 and 5. And I think I want to see, of course, 6 next, but then I'm going to start with the original trilogy, so 1, 2, 3. Well, not the original trilogy, but you know, 1, 2, 3. And afterwards I'm going to watch the new ones. I'm not sure what's the right, the right way to watch it. I know that there's a ton of different ways. So I'm also, I also want to try, you know, 1, 2, 3, Rogue One, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I want to try all the ways, but right now we're sticking to this one and I'm super excited. I also saw that Disney Plus has The Emperor's New Groove, which is like my favorite movie ever because it's hilarious. And it's so underrated, you should watch it if you haven't. It's, it's hilarious. I tell you, it's so good, it's so good. And they also have uh, the Kronk sequel, which I also think is glorious. I don't know why people hate on it so much, because Kronk is the best. And I also love that they're having, you know, of course the old Disney classics is amazing, but they're also having a lot of the series I've loved as a child and I still love. For example, I'm watching tons of Phineas and Ferb right now, and they also have the Gummy Bears, which I've loved so much, and Gravity Falls is on there, which I'm super excited. Clone Wars is great. I'm just living Disney Plus right now. It's so good. I love it so much. Okay, number three on my list of the good things that happened is that we finally heard back from university. I was very anxious because they were actually saying that they were thinking of, you know, just dropping this term completely and not doing anything. But that would have derailed all my plans for my master's degree and stuff, so I'm super glad that they decided they would not drop this term. Everything is going to be fine. I got courses that are super interesting and I didn't get in all of them originally, but then I emailed my professors and said that, you know, I need to take this course because I've only have one term left after that and they were all super nice and they squeezed me in wherever they could, so I'm very glad I got all the courses I wanted. And of course they're going to be completely online for now, so I'm very excited how that is going to be because, well, that's new to me, I've never done online courses, so and lots of my professors also never have done online courses. It's just going to be an extremely, extremely exciting year. On spot number four, of course there are no particular order, but uh, we have the Harry Potter audiobook and especially the first one, you know, the Philosopher's Stone, because that one is currently available to listen on, sp not on Spotify, uh, maybe it is on Spotify, I don't know, but it is available to listen, I'm sorry, I can't talk, let me just think real quick, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone is available on audio, audio, on audible, <laughs> audible, <laughs> to listen to for free, and no, this is of course not sponsored, I don't think I need to say this, but, 
Uh, I just got the news because I am subscribed to the Wizarding World newsletter and they sent their first one yesterday or the day before, something like that. And yeah, they told me that I could listen to this and they had a link for me which I put in the description down below. So I just think that's a really cool thing because I love Harry Potter and I've actually... I've read some of the books, I'm not through all yet, I'm working on this during quarantine, don't you worry guys. But I love listening to audiobooks while I'm tidying up and doing laundry and stuff, so this has been super fun. I started yesterday and while tackling my mess of a room. Honestly, it is a mess. It looks like my room's been hit by a bomb, a bomb full of random stuff and clothes lying all over the floor. I haven't vacuumed in months honestly because there's just no room on the floor and I was too lazy to tidy up so yeah I'm pretty glad you only see this tiny frame of my room because nope I'm, I'm not letting you I'm not showing you that but yeah I've tackled this and I'm almost done and there's a lot of things going to charity so I'm very excited for that and it's been just great fun listening to the first Harry Potter audiobook while doing that so yeah, link is in the description, you should check it out, and you're welcome, of course, for sharing. And on a closing note, there's been some good news on Corona this week in Germany, because apparently the containment measures are actually showing some results. On average, the infected person only infects one other person right now, which is very good, I'd say, for now, but of course, it's way too soon to uh, lighten the measures. And let people out again you know so we're still in quarantine as the rest of you because they're aiming for the average infected person to only infect half a person you know because scientific measurements are weird you know there are also people who get one and a half children on average so you know what I mean but yeah um, I totally get that they can't let us out just yet and stop everything they're doing now and go right back to where we started from because that's just a recipe for disaster and yeah, it's still a glimmer of hope and a good thing, so I wanted to share it with you guys and I was glad to read that. And yeah, of course, I hope you're staying all safe and you're healthy and you're making the best you can out of your quarantine. And on that note, this is it for this little video. I will see you later for another episode of Ori and the Will of the Wisps or next week for another episode of Mila's Little Monday. Bye guys!